Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg here, and I want to show you a really cool Firefox extension, which I just wrote about over at Gear Diary. And it's pronounced, I believe, Quee Click, and it's spelled K W I C L I C K dot com is the link to the site where you can learn all about it and I'll put that link in the description but it's a fabulous Firefox extension that if you use Firefox it's gonna make your life so much easier so let me show you just a couple of the things it does right now I'm on the gear diary homepage and I'm gonna scroll down to this post uh, by Michael Anderson about uh, some games that we talked about this week and what I'm gonna do is highlight the, this phrase the legend of Zelda now let's say I wanted to search for more information on The Legend of Zelda. Once I highlight it, you'll see this little clover pops up. And this is the Quee Click Clover. And it contains four different search engines that you can configure, and I'll show you that in a second, and you can use to search for more information on The Legend of Zelda. So once I do that and I click on one of these, and let's choose the first one, which is Google, a separate window pops up with all of the Google search results for The Legend of Zelda. Now if I want to view one of these, all I do is click on the link and it'll actually open in my original web browser page. No worrying about going back. If I don't like this one and I want to look at a different one, I can simply click the next one and it'll actually open that next one in the same page. If I want to go back, I can go back. If I want to view you know, more of those, um, links, excuse me, I can go back again and um, click another one and it'll again it'll open up another one in that same page for me and uh, once I'm done I can simply go back to the original page I was looking at and all that information uh, stays right at my fingertips in the little box down the corner. Now this box that contains all the search information you can move it around any which way you like and I'll show you how that comes into play in a second. But let's say I didn't want to like I didn't like the information I found from Google and I wanted to search for Twitter on uh, The Legend of Zelda. Again I highlight it and there is the Clover link for Twitter. I click on that and it shows me all of the recent tweets that relate to The Legend of Zelda. If I want to look at one I simply click on it Unfortunately, I'm getting the Twitter is over capacity message, but I can actually view the tweet right here in my Firefox window. Now, let's say that I didn't like the Twitter information that came back and I wanted to go back to Google. All I do is quick click the little Google shortcut that's down here on the bottom and it brings me right back to the Google search that I did before. Again, if I want to go back to Twitter, I can go back to Twitter. If I want to search for YouTube, I can actually get YouTube videos that will click and I can actually watch them right here in the window. Truly amazing. Again, if I want to go back, I go back and you can totally customize what buttons are located down here. These are all your favorites and you can scroll through a variety of them. Flickr, for example, if I want to look for Flickr pictures on The Legend of Zelda, there they are. And uh, back to YouTube and so forth. So that's a really neat feature for searching you know, text that you're looking at in a web post. Um, one of the other things it does, you know, that's just truly remarkable is uh, allow you to pull out video. So I was recently watching, for example, a video by MT Flyers on his HT server. Let's go back to that video and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, you know, let's say you have a really long video. Hey guys, this, this is video, MTP Flyers. Pause it is nine minutes long. Instead of sitting here and only watching the video, I now have all of these icons up at the top and if I click that one it actually pulls the video out and puts it in a separate window uh, kind of outside of my browser and I can now actually watch the video right here in this little window um, completely sure separate you from YouTube and if I pin it there it is it'll actually the stay HP there while I let me turn Media the Smart down a Server bit. I'll just mute it while I'm actually watching the video, I can actually go back and do my web browsing and you know do whatever I want and still have this video. I can move it wherever I want it. If I want it uh, on top, you know, of something or in the corner, wherever I want it. So I mentioned you can resize the window. Let's say I want to you know make my browser window smaller. I'm on a 24 inch iMac, so I have a lot of space. And then I want to put this off to the side and uh, maybe even drag it down so it's even. And now I have a separate video window right there on the side that I can, you know, access and still watch, you know, my, my video while I'm browsing on the web. So really neat feature. I love that aspect of it. Again, you can resize this any way you want. You want to go back to the smaller window, you can do that. 
and then you can close it at any time. So in addition to the Twitter and Google search engines, and there's a lot of other ones, you can configure that four leaf clover any way you want. You can also search uh, via Google Maps. So my local pizzeria is called Carmine's. Let's say I wanted to pull that up and there's the address right there. If I wanted to find out exactly where it was located, I just highlight it and there's that four leaf clover. The one of these right here is for maps. I click on it and bam, it shows me the Google Maps for the location of my pizzeria. It's right there on the map. I can view you know, uh, the regular map, satellite view, hybrid view. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. I can move around just like a normal web page. I can close this. Let's say, oh, you know, I'm browsing and I, oh, I want to go back to that. All I do is click the little button right there and it brings it right back to my last search. If I want to go back to, uh, you know, anything, there's my video that I was watching. There's my YouTube search on Legend of Zelda. It re retains all of your search information and everything put it up on top of the desk here, so but you can access it at a know. later date, you know, in your history. Really remarkable um, tool. Let me show you some of the other, you know, things that you can configure. They're all in the preferences. So here's your little four-leaf clover, and then you can actually pull any one of these things down. Let's say you wanted to replace YouTube with Flickr, and now I have Flickr as my one uh, in my four-leaf clover. Put YouTube back. And then this, again, is for your favorites. You saw those at the bottom when you uh, were searching. Let's say I wanted to search for, you know, Little Conestoga Road in Google. I can do that uh, in YouTube. And again, that's where all these uh, those favorites come into play. I can replace any of these with any of the ones uh, in the list here, Vidler, Blip TV, and so forth. So. This is an amazing utility. I've only scratched the surface on what it can do. I will put a link to it in the sidebar. If you're a Firefox user, I would strongly suggest you go check this out. Even if you're not a Firefox user, I suggest you, you know, jump on and get Firefox and download this utility. You know, especially I know there's a lot of YouTuber, YouTubers out there that are going to find the ability to pull those videos out and watch them on the side, kind of like while you're going about doing other stuff, just truly remarkable. So the final thing that I want to show you, um, you can also easily uh, add videos to uh, Twitter and to hey guys, it's Mike. Uh, Facebook. So here's one of Uncle Tone 99's videos. I'm going to pause it. In addition to the links I showed you before, and there's a lot, you can search for related videos, um, comments, you can share it, you can email it right from here. You can actually hit the Facebook link and then send this video directly to Facebook. You can put in a message, you can hit send, and once you configure your account, it'll go right to your Facebook page. Same with Twitter, if you want to tweet this video, you can uh, type a message in, set up your Twitter account, and it'll go right to your Twitter account. You know, No more having to copy the link and uh, you know, typing the message in a separate window and tweeting it out. It, it does it all right from here. So that, again, is a brief look at this utility. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be posting more about it soon because, uh, like I said, I just started using it, but it is, is I'm finding it uh, truly remarkable. So check it out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.